In this Circuits of the Past video, we take a drone flight over the TT Circuit Assen in the Netherlands, best known for its MotoGP races and nicknamed the Cathedral of Motorsport. We start at the start finish straight, which since 1926 has always been in the same location. On our left hand side we see a parking garage for motorcycles with a roof of solar panels and on the right hand side is the paddock and the new northern loop. Here we see where the old track used to be. Today it's used for parking and the rest of the old track is used for public road. You can see more of the older layouts of the track in their specific videos. Now we fly over the new Northern Loop, which replaced the much longer old Northern Loop in 2006. The corners in this new section are named after the corners on the old Northern Loop, like the Struben hairpin, which we're flying over now. The Struben hairpin leads on to the fast V-slang section. In 2002, they moved this section to the left to create more space for the infield, so the V-slang actually used to be where the paddock is now. A little bit further along, you'll see some of the parts of the original track still remain. On our left hand side we see the so-called junior track for mini bike races and karting. Herman filmed some racing there and also an onboard in the cart. To be fair, that's where you'll find me too given half the chance. Here you're seeing the remains of the original v -slang. They kept this section as an asphalt road in the paddock. And here the v -slang connected to the fast left-hander named the Ruskin Hook. Originally, this was an easy full throttle left kink. Today's Ruskin Hook has two versions though a fast right left combination and a chicane. If you look to the other side of the track, you'll notice that both short straights are in one perfect line, and that's no coincidence. Originally, this was a single straight public road, and in 1926 they used it for the first time as a street circuit. In 1955, they opened a semi-permanent circuit and used the road as a central axis to build both sides having their own permanent loops. This kept going until the early 1990s, and the circuit was a public road with both permanent loops being easily accessible. But because of naughty boys that used to like to play racing driver on the track, they had to change it into a permanent racetrack in 1992. One of these naughty boys was a certain Herman Lissemeyer, the founder of the Circuits of the Past website and YouTube channel. Now we know why he gets pulled over by the police so often. We're now flying to the Bolt Corner. In 2005 they demolished the original Bolt Corner and straightened up the track. 
The original corner was a combination of a fast right kink and a sharp banked left hander. We now follow the old trajectory and you can still make out some of the old route. In the grass below you can still recognise the embankment of the old corner too, and the gravel road marks the outside of where the old built corner used to be. If you want to have a closer look at this section, Herman explored this on foot in another video. Here is where old and new reconnects, and we can follow the current circuit again. The corner in front is one of the first of a double right-hander. In 2002 they moved both corners to the inside to create a bigger runoff on the outside. So actually these corners used to be where the gravel trap is now. I wonder how many drivers got that wrong in 2002 through muscle memory alone. The double right-hander leads onto the most demanding part of the TT circuit asset a fast section with short straights and fast kinks to the most feared corner on the circuit. We now fly over the ram's hook, the most feared corner of Assam. During illegal racing, Herman once had a very scary moment here, but if you want to read about that story, you'll have to buy his ebook, The Magic of Weathered Asphalt. In The Magic of Weathered Asphalt, you can not only read about Herman's illegal antics racing around Assam, tot tot, but you'll also be exploring other race circuits from the past too. We now fly to the last corner of the TT circuit asset, the Gert Timmer Chicane. This was actually a fast kink in the public road, but for safety reasons they modified it into a chicane in 1976. We're almost at the end of our flying lap at Assen, but not quite at the end of the video, so stay tuned for a flight over the infield. So after our flying finish, we're now flying over the pit building to a huge infield at the circuit of Assen. We're now approaching the Rams hook and the Ruskin hook. As said previously, this straight was part of the central public road, and when Assen became a permanent circuit, they removed the connection between both the straights, hence why they're now two separate ones. 
In the old days, the Rams Hook and the Risgen Hook were the corners that connected both permanent loops with the main road from the city of Assen. That stretched all the way to the village of Larg Hallenden. We now fly to the northern part of the circuit. In front we'll see the new Struben hairpin and also the new Harbocht corner, which was named after an old corner that was within a few hundred metres of it. But more about that in a different video. Here ends our drone flight over the TT circuit of Assen. You can find more information about the rich history of this circuit on the website www.circuitsofthepast.com. There you can download an ebook about seven abandoned circuits that you can visit legally, Herman. Legally. <laughs> but for now, though, thank you very much for watching, and don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification bell so that you don't miss the next video from another circuit of the past and occasionally from the present, too. Take care.